guys, it's JJ Simmer, and welcome to another speed build slash renovation. In this speed build slash renovation, we're renovating Garden Essence. I think that's what it's called. I can't really remember. It's been a while since I've done this. Like, I think I did this about two months ago, but I still want to post it because I thought it was super cute. And this house needed my help. Like, oh my goodness. This house is, it has a really, like, cute floor plan. Like, it's really different, but it's just, it needed some extra help. So, I'm glad that I could lend a helping hand. And if you can't tell yet, I am sick but I wanted to get a video up for you guys. I worked on like a really cool video for this week, but I'm actually going to be posting that next week, and I don't know what I'm telling you this. I might have mentioned it in my Let's Plays, so I just want to tell you, this isn't the super cool video. This is cool, but like, it's not that super cool video. That super cool video is going up next week. But I was kind of like looking at my channel, and I was like, oh my goodness, if you post that, because it's, it's like a two-part thing, and it's like, I've posted stuff like that recently. It's like, there's, well, it's a cast and something else, and I posted a cast recently, and I haven't posted a build recently. So so I was like, hey, it would be nice like to post a build because it's been a while. I posted a room build recently, but the last um, actual build I posted was like Christmas time. I think it was on Christmas Day because it was my holiday cabin, which was <laughs> and it's crazy. So I was like, oh my goodness, I need to like post something like a build wise. These builds are also my favorite videos, but again, I'm sick too. And I honestly don't know, I didn't just post that video, I just thought next week would be a better time for it because then I could be more excited about it because I'm not sick, but yeah, I'm sick right now, not extremely sick, I'm like sick at the point where I just spend all hours of the day sleeping, but like not sick enough where it's like, oh, I can miss school and stuff like that, which is just like an annoying variation of sickness, but hey, I'm trooping through. What sucks is my like second semester just started this week so I've gone into all these new classes and I'm like super sick and I'm like I can't tell if I hate these classes or if I'm just really sick and my sickness is clouding my vision so we'll see I'll keep you guys posted do you know what I was thinking about today because I go to a lot of what I consider rants but I feel like the average person would not consider a rant on Twitter and I'm like oh my god I can't believe this person did this to me and I'm like, oh my goodness, you should just start, like, ranting on YouTube, like, on your speed builds, because that's what everyone does. But, like, I don't rant in speed builds, which is so weird, because I'm, like, the most, like, I rant all the time. Except for in speed builds, which is, I just don't understand. I'm, like, on Twitter, like, oh my goodness, like, ugh, I wish I had more words today that I'm like, why don't you just create a video about it? But I'd be, like, so afraid that one day, like, they'd see it, and, like, they'd be like, oh my goodness, because I never, like, want to offend anyone. I'm just some weird shit. I'm not weird, just some weird shit. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I don't have the best, like, core friend group in, like, this essence where I feel like they just, like, feel like they have permission to be, like, super rude to me. Like, I feel like it might be a high school thing, and I don't know if, like, this is a common thing if you guys get it, but, like, your friends just say the weirdest things to you, like, that I would never say to them. And I've just been kind of going through that, where it's, like, I go to school and be like, you look terrible. I'm like, why would you even say that? Like, I would never say that to you. And it's just, like this hard kind of thing or probably another reason why I'm like hating school it's like I just can't go and it's like not like like they're bullying me or anything it's just like I have rude friends like ugh. so tell me if you're going through that too because I feel like it's like a high school girl thing you know like you're insecure you're like oh my goodness that outfit looks terrible you know it's weird and I think sometimes I bring it on myself because I can be like pretty rude but I never like there's some I feel like there's just like some things you don't say about people I feel like my friends have a tendency to say stuff like that because I like always seem like oh I have such thick skin but like things get to me guys why did this get so serious all of a sudden I feel like it's weird too because I'm probably gonna have to turn the volume up for this because I'm talking super quiet just because I'm sick and like I can't talk loud and my voice is like my voice feels strange because I definitely haven't talked for more than a minute today like it's been hard today my teacher like called on me and they're like oh my goodness Jay like what do you think about this I was like Ugh, and couldn't even make out like sounds is there anything more embarrassing than that oh my goodness I don't change the pool color I'm sorry that's so not me like it's been a while like I never do that I'm just amazed at my building technique this is a cool build though honestly I'm like the worst when I do builds because I really enjoy watching builds and so when I do mine I like watch mine I should just start doing it where it's like a blank screen so that I don't get distracted by what's going on in the camera because it'd be much better honestly though I like love renovating houses and like lots and I think like what I want to do like but I can't commit to it is kind of like what little Simpson did where she just renovated the whole world but I can't commit to it because like I'm like that would take me like years but I just like renovating like little lots and hopefully like in like I don't know five years 
Oh, be done everything. I don't know. It's just super cool. I need to start building more, though. I don't remember the last time I built just for fun, and that, like, really makes me upset. Well, I do every once in a while for my current household, but... Oh, no. I haven't actually played The Sims 4 for a while just for fun, because I've been in a really Sims 2 movement, which is so weird, because, like, I never... I, okay, The Sims 2 was, like, the first Sims I played. Probably shouldn't have been playing it, because my friend had it, and we played it in, like, grade 2. And that, so that was the first Sims I played, but like The Sims 3 was the first Sims like I really played because I didn't like even really, you know, when you like, Piece of Sims I feel like is a pretty complex game like that you don't really know to play after playing it just like once or twice. So I didn't know to play it, but it was like still like a super fun thing and like honestly started my Sims obsession. But what was the point of that? I never really got to experience The Sims 2, and everyone's always just like told that The Sims 2 is like the best Sims version. So I've always been really interested by The Sims 2. So now that I'm getting to play it, I'm like, this is freaking fantastic. And now I know why everyone's so obsessed with The Sims 2. I'm still very confused on how to play with it because it's really different. I find it more like The Sims 4, honestly, though, than The Sims 3 because I'm. I think the Sims I've played the most of, I'm almost, I've almost played more Sims 4 than Sims 3, but I still think I've played, at this point, I've played more Sims 3 than Sims 4, so I think it's like, I'm like, when I started playing it, I thought it was going to be really like the Sims 3, but it's actually quite like, like the Sims 4, just with like the closed world, and like how you like interact with people, but there's still some things like, your Sims don't like start off with cell phones, and I thought that was like the weirdest thing, I was like, how do I call people, I was like, oh, you have to have like a home phone that's fun which is something that you don't have in the sims 4 which is weird i really want to have a baby in the sims 2 because i have not yet played with the babies in the sims 2 and i hate the babies in the sims 4 like so boring but i think the sims 2 what i've heard is they have like the best babies there because their babies they're like sims 4 babies where they have like arms but you can also take them out of the cribs like i think that's the most annoying thing and that like we have never gotten any new like updates or like items for babies i find that so annoying and it just it like really gets on me like gets to me i hope like i don't think they they'll do it though but like in the future there's an update where you can like take your babies out of the cribs and like i don't know i just want like a few more objects for them at least i just think it's so annoying i think i'm the only one though like nobody else complains about that I feel a cop coming out. Oh my goodness, it's so embarrassing. He's like, we've just switched classes, right? I'm probably like, who is this girl? All she does is sniffle. Please, for the life. like, I've been sick this whole semester, and I'm just like in class. I'm like, oh, and I just like look like an idiot when I'm sick too, because I get really like groggy, and I'm just like staring off into like blank space. I'm like hoping that the sickness lasts like one more day. I kind of feel better today. Like I'm recording a video. I was like able to just like do some shit i showered yesterday not that i hadn't showered for a while but like i was just like oh my god i'm feeling so much better i shower but today i'm feeling even better granted i just woke up from a two-hour nap but still i watch a youtube video <laughs> i like but oh it's wednesday so a lot of my shows are on you guys don't care but i'm gonna tell you anyway it's wednesday so a lot of my shows are on but i was like oh my goodness i'm not in like a good state to watch them so i'm gonna watch them a different day that's how I know I'm sick if I can't like because my focus goes off so I can't focus enough. I'm like, I can't believe I'm watching Riverdale Light, <laughs> which is a little ridiculous. I actually could not care less about them. I just don't like when spo shows get spoiled. I have so much sh shit that gets spoiled for me because I'm like terrible for like, I'll go on YouTube and like, for example, right now I'm watching Bones and I'll like search, oh, Bones promo. And then YouTube thinks it's okay to just recommend me all the shit on Bones and they're like, this character dies. I was like, are you serious? I always get my show spoiled for me and it's the worst thing because especially if I'm like actively watching a show there's nothing I hate more than spoilers if I'm not watching a show like for example keeping up with the Kardashians I don't watch it regularly but like I love the show I just like don't have it like I watch it like when I'm on the plane or something like that but I like every week they have recaps of what happens in the episodes so I always watch those and like the promos for the next episodes or like even once upon a time because I don't watch that regularly but I always just randomly will pop in and watch a promo for an episode because I just want to know what's happening and then other shows that I'm like watching like if I get a Riverdale spoiler which I probably will I haven't been on my Twitter all night but when I go on my Twitter I'm probably like oh my god Benny and Jughead blah 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 I'm gonna be like no because it's just like there is nothing worse than getting a spoiler I feel like when you don't want one sometimes spoilers are fun 
or movie spoilers because I don't watch movies but I'm like I'm gonna watch this movie later <laughs> and like years go by and then one day I'm just like watching a show and they make a reference and I'm like oh my god this character dies in that movie just kidding I'm not watching it I just find that to be the most annoying thing I don't know if anybody else feels this way see was that ranty I'm like this, these are the rants I go on guys those are rants from my friends I don't know I'm just over people <laughs> it's bad I can tell you guys that right Ugh, you guys are all I need and my parents but like friend wise I don't know I'm going through a weird phase where they all are just annoying and like offending me I like get really offended really quickly which is like an issue and why I can't hang out with people like somebody will say something wrong and I'll be like oh my god they just like bullied me not like that but like you know I'll be like oh my god I can never talk to them again like they're so rude they just dis- disrespected me granted some of the things it's like okay there's a line and like you just don't cross it I feel like there's just an unspoken right one of them is you do not like diss other people's families and my friends just love doing that and it's just like i'm over it at this point but i just like i feel like i can tell you guys this because like i don't know i feel like i need to tell something it's like i have a rule where like i never tell like my parents about like things that are going on with me and my friends because then if i hang out with them again like it's like it's like oh my god i thought you said you hated her and i'm like figure of speech you know so you guys are really the only one i can talk to about this and my diary and don't worry i have written in my diary about it <laughs> like this video if you have a diary i don't get like i don't think i could not have a diary i've had a diary since grade six and honestly it saves my life because like oh i don't know what i'd do without it <laughs> it's like an essential in my life or i like i have to write in it once a week or i can, like can't sleep on sunday because there's just so much going on in my brain and it used to be like I used to write a lot of like I'd be like oh my god this boy looked at me and now it's more like I feel like shit like <laughs> it's more feelings than anything I miss when it was events it was much more interesting and much more like interesting to write in but every time I like travel I'm like oh my goodness I'll see you when I'm in this place and then I'm like oh I'm here and it's like it kind of trips me out like doesn't it whenever I go to train I get like tripped up because I'm like one minute I was in this place and like the next I'm not and then there's a time change and I'm like where did this hour go I don't know those are just like the weird things that trip me out you know what though guys what I want to tell you sorry I just was like looking at this build and I got mad because I just remembered so how you know I said it was semester two now all of my friends in my classes are switching out not all of them but in two of my classes like my only friends in that class have been like oh sorry I'm switching out of that class and I'm like are you serious this semester I was so excited I was like because this is my easy semester I was like this semester is gonna be so easy but I currently have no friends in all my options which is an issue because when you have like academics and no friends it's a different thing because it's like okay whatever I'm gonna focus on this but when you have like options yeah that's what they're called I don't know electives that's what they're called electives where you have to do a lot of collaborative group work and you have no friends is kind of an issue and I'm like ugh, this is going to be terrible in one of my academics my friends which out, which is like kind of like okay I have time to focus but it's still it's still a little problematic we'll see how it turns out maybe one of my friends will switch in I don't know people are doing a lot of switching of classes and I'm like maybe I should jump on this train I don't know I'm like I wish I had more friends in the class but at the same time <laughs> you know it's it's uh, yeah I don't know I don't know if I wish that anymore it'd be nice to a certain dis- extent but then at the same time I'm like they're so distracting like in my one class where like one of my best friends is and not one of not the bad ones I've been talking about I'm like so distracted all class because all we do is talk so it has benefits and unbenefits and the video's coming to end. I'm sorry if this has been the most boring voiceover of all time. I th- try- I'm i going to turn up the volume because I'm talking so quiet. You guys don't even know. I hope that it's been interesting. Don't take, don't like, don't hold me for, what's it called? Don't hold me hostage? I don't know. Hold, don't hold this against me. There we go. See, I can't even think. I'm sick. But anyways, do not forget to comment, like, or subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you all in my next video. So, bye guys.